Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Pao Ding Fu. In this video, I will demonstrate simulation and risk analysis. So we are going to introduce Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation is the process of generating random values for uncertain inputs in a model, compute the output of the interest, and repeat this process for many trials to understand the distribution of the output result. So example, uh, the demand, unit cost, and the fixed cost, sometimes uncertain, you don't know, but for demand, we do have historical data, okay? This is the demand and this is the probability. And we don't know the unit cost, but we do know unit cost uh, between 22 and 26, and it is a uniform distributed. For the fixed cost, it is as low as 350, as high as 500, which most likely is 400 and we are going to use the triangular distribution. Okay. Because Monte Carlo simulation use random numbers. So first we need to know how to generate random numbers. The simple random number generator is to use Excel. So now I'm going to show you how to generate random number using Excel. So I will open a new blank worksheet. So if you want to create 10 random numbers between zero and one, you can do this. So this is my Sample. So you want to create 10 samples, one, two, okay. and use fill handle to drag it down. And now you are going to create random numbers. In Excel, the random number between zero and one is realized using the formula equal rand opening closing bracket and this is the random number between zero and one okay the problem with this is that whenever you move your mouse okay the random number will be changed okay so if you do not want the random number changed you need random seed and use data analysis tool to do this. So for example, you go to data and then data analysis. After that, select random number generations. Click OK. Number of variable is one. Number of random number, 10. Distribution, discrete. Um, distribution, you can select uniform distribution. Okay. And it is between zero and one. And random set, you can specify a set, for example, 20. Output range, let me see. Maybe we want to put in C2. So you click in C2, okay and you click OK button. So those are the random number with the seed, random seed. Okay, so whenever you move your mouse, see, this number will change, but those number will not changed. Okay. So this is a Excel random function.
because random number have different uh, distribution. So we are going to introduce first of all uniform distributions. Um, it is transfer a random number into a random variate for some uniform distribution between A and B. A is a minimum number, B is a maximum number. So this is the uniform distribution uh, formula. Okay, so let's use Excel to generate a uniform distribution random number. So I will just type in uniform. So let's pick up uh, A and B. Suppose A equal to 3, B equal to 7. Just suppose, okay. So I'm going to use this formula equal a plus b minus a multiplied by a random number. So this is the uniform distribution between 3 and 7. All this number between 3 and 7. Then you copy down the numbers. Okay, so this is the uniform distribution. Uh, this example shows modeling uncertainty with a uniform random variate. When do we use uniform distribution? When little is known about the distribution. So suppose a supplier states that the price must be as low as 42 and as high as 50. So we can use uniform to simulate the price distribution. Okay, so in Excel, you can type in. So suppose we are going to simulate price. Okay, minimum is 42, maximum is 50. Okay, just adjust the screen so that you can see both, okay? So you use the formula equal to minimum 42 plus maximum 50 minus 42 multiplied by random number. Okay, press enter and you produce as many as you want. Here we just produce 10, okay? So this is a an example of modeling uncertainty. Next one is the exponential distributions. And this is the formula. Okay. And the one over lambda, it is the mu of the exponential distribution. Ln is the Excel function for natural logarithm. Okay. So for example, if you have an exponential distribution with mean equal to three, mean equal to three, just one adjust the screen a little bit. Okay, so we are going to do exponential distributions. Suppose, and this one, I will give you the mean okay equal to three so just type in negative mu mu is a three one over lambda is mu okay multiply by ln opening bracket rand closing bracket so this is the exponential distribution you can just double click the fail handle okay Next one, normal distribution, most commonly used distribution. Uh, I will give you an example. Uh, 
Our midterm test is normally distributed with the mean 65 and standard deviation 15. Create 10 random numbers to simulate this distribution. So normal distribution equal to norm dot inv, then random number. The next parameter is the mean is 65, standard deviation 15. Okay, so this is a, a random number and you use the fill handle copy down. So all those numbers has normally distributed with the mean 65 and the standard deviation 15. So this example is about sampling experiment for evaluating capital budgeting projects. Uh, in finance, we have a concept of a profitability index, PI, pro, profitab profitability index. PY, it is just the present value of future cash flow divided by initial investment. And the question is, what is the probability distribution of a PI when PV is normally distributed with the mean $12, 12 standard deviation 2.5, and initial investment is normally distributed with mean 3 and standard deviation 0 0.8? So that is the question. Okay. And we are going to answer that question using Excel. Okay. So I'm going to move this over. Okay. Create some room for Excel. So what we know in this example. So we, I will omit this data part, I will directly do the experiment. So we are going to do 10 experiments, okay. An experiment, okay. And we now, Present value is normally normally distributed with mean 12, standard deviation 2.5. So we type in norm dot di dot inv okay. range. Mean is 12, standard deviation 2.5. Okay, so this is the number for PV, and then. For initial investment I, it is normally distributed with mean is three, standard deviation 0 0.8. So you type in um, norm dot INV, mean is three, standard deviation 0 0.8. Uh, I missed rand. And once you get PI and I, you can get a PV and I, you can get PI, profitability index, PI. PI is just the ratio between PV and I, okay? So you have this three formula, you use the fair handle to copy it down, you have this distribution. Okay. And you can create uh, a histogram for this one to have a gen graphical uh, representation of this distribution. Okay. So this is the example about um, product 
profitability index. Next example is about binomial distribution. Remember the outcome from a binomial distribution, it is either success or failure. We use P represent the probability of success. Um, we use N represent number of trials or number of experiments. Okay. So this is an example. Okay. This is an example. Um, 60 potential customers are called each hour by a tele maker. The probability of any of them will make a purchase is 0 0.08. Over a 10 hour period, how many customers might make a purchase? Okay, um, so we are going to use uh, Excel to do this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the Excel. It's a little bit, make some room. Okay, so again, uh, we are going to create uh, 10 samples, okay. And we are going to simulate what is the number of purchases per hour. Okay. Number of purchases per hour. Okay. Um, because the mean of the binomial distribution is n times p, okay, n is a six, 60, p is 0 0.08, so n times p is 4.8, okay. Um, we actually, okay, let me do this. So we just need to use the binomial formula, so equal b i n, OM dot INV. Okay, so number of trials. So number of trials, we have 60 customers. So it is 60. And the, the probability, the probability is 0 0.08. Okay, and then uh, alpha, we use random number to simulate the alpha. So random. Okay, so we get this number and then use fill handle. Copy down. Okay, and if you want to add what is the total number, you can use a sum of this number here. Because it's random number, my result is different from the textbook result 61. However, if you uh, repeat this trial many times, you will get similar number, okay? So next one is the procedure for Monte Carlo simulation in Excel. Uh, we, we are going to use Excel to create a model. So basically, we need to uh, set up a distrib probability distribution table. And then we create an interval showing the probability corresponding to each interval. And then we use random number. Then and we use VLOOKUP table to get the output, okay. Um, let's look at uh, this example, okay. And in this example, uh, we need a data file. The data file is a profit model Monte Carlo simulation. So I'm going to get that data file. Okay, so I'm going to get that data file. Go document.
So the data file is profit model Monte Carlo simulation. Profit. This one here. Um, it is looks complicated, um, but if I show you the formula, so we can go from here, okay. So the unit price is given, but the unit cost is uncertain. However, we know it is a uniform distributed. See, the unit cost is a uniform distributed with the minimum is 22 and the maximum is 26. So we can use uniform distribution to simulate the unit cost. And for the fixed cost, it is a triangular distribution. The textbook lists the formula for triangular distribution. Okay, it has uh, uh, the minimum number A, maximum number B, most likely number C. So C always between A and B, and R represent a random number. Okay, and uh, based on this a given number, we can calculate for F or C. Okay, so I will see in this situation, it is at G16 minus G14. So G16, it is actually C. So C minus A divided by B minus A. Okay, check out the formula in the textbook. And then there are two situations for triangular uh, distribution. And this if statement, is the result of two situation, okay? So the demand, we use the VLOOKUP function, okay? And we are going to generate the random number here, and we look up the table array from H3 to J7. H3 is here, H3 to J7. Okay, based on the random number, if the random number between zero and 0 0.1, we said the demand is 40,000. If the random number between 0 0.1, 0 0.4, we said the demand is 45,000, et cetera. Okay, so we can get this demand. Okay, and once we get um, this demand, we can set up the model for those parameters, okay. So this is this question. And this part here, I did detailed step-by-step -step approach when we did um, lab for simulation. Please refer to lab six simulation for this part, okay. Um, so that is basically the lecture for today. In summary, we in this lecture, we did different distributions, uh, uniform distribution, triangular distribution, normal distribution, exponential distribution. And we also did examples about Monte Carlo simulation. Okay, um, so, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to go over the textbook for this chapter.